Whoa, didn't see you there. If you clicked this video, you've probably had a realization lately that you've been in your own way or you're curious of the topic in general, why self-defeat is the number one cause of failure. It could be for whatever aspect of your life, relationships, career, or even trying to be fit and be physically healthy. We all set out to get a goal at some point. And just taking a look here at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, starting all the way from the bottom, we have physiological needs. So you need water, you need food, you need shelter, you need you know clothing, you need reproduction, possibly. Next, we have safety needs. We have personal security. You want to have a job. You want to have resources and provide for yourself. You want to be healthy. You want to have a property, maybe. And then next, we have love and belonging. So you want to have friends. You want to have some intimacy with somebody. You want to have family, people you know you can rely on. You want to have a sense of connection. You also want esteem. You want respect from your peers. You want self-esteem. You want status. You want recognition. You want strength. You want freedom, the autonomy to make your own decisions, be who you are. And at the very top of the list, we have self-actualization, the desire to become the most that one can be. So that's a lot of what everyone wants. And self-defeat is related to each and every every single one of these categories of life because these are all our wants and needs. It's the biggest obstacle we'll have to endure being self-defeat because we are always our number one enemy when it comes to anything. When you self-defeat, you surrender without even giving yourself a chance to be who you want to be. We all know this and we don't want it to happen. In fact, I wish I could erase that feeling, but it's, uh, it's these challenges. Being aware to stand up to it and trying again, even if you fall, even if you fail, Every time we work towards something, it gives us a result, which always ends up being an opportunity to explore more. So whether you look at it as a failure or a success, regardless of whatever the case may be, you end up in a situation where things have to eventually move forward, whatever that looks like. And trust me, I felt all of this roller coaster. And you clicked on this video, so I'm sure you felt it too. I'm in my own way a lot especially about my career. I know no actual title in terms of what I want to do, being an engineer, being a you know, financial advisor, being a doctor, whatever the case may be. I know no title really is going to be the answer. The only thing that actually matters is production um, and value to other people. So regardless of what that looks like, whether I'm a teacher, whether I'm helping people as a doctor or whether I'm a lawyer or whatever the case may be, right? It's just how much are you bringing to the table in any of those spaces and you're probably in the same or similar boat thinking about what you want to do in this world you can't quite put your finger on it but you wanted to leave a mark somewhere i know and i'm with you let's make it happen surround ourselves with people that think like us and honestly we're unstoppable so let's invest in ourselves our financial independence and people around us this is the dream this is mactub this is elijah thank you for watching like and subscribe Peace.